advanced vessel configuration. An excavator operating from a pontoon. A basic vessel configuration setup is explained in the instruction movie. Vessel configuration to manage a common survey vessel. See the PDS YouTube channel. But what now if we have a more advanced setup, such as an excavator operating from a pontoon and using their own positioning systems? And what should we do when we like to see the excavator frame position with respect to its undercarriage? This movie will show you how to set the vessel configuration to manage this more advanced setups. Press the configuration button to open the configuration from the PDS control center. In the configuration are the vessel configurations listed. If we like to use two vessels, a pontoon and a crane, we add two vessel configurations. In this example there are already two vessel configurations created, the excavator and the pontoon. Press the add button to add a vessel configuration. Each vessel configuration is set up separately. Double click on a vessel configuration to open it. Let's first look to the vessel configuration of the excavator. Double click to open. In the geometry page is the shape of the excavator frame selected. It is possible to select a standard shape frame and the dimensions, or to select a custom shape of the excavator frame. Set the sea level. This is the height between the chosen excavator zero offset point and the water surface. The excavator zero offset point is the crane rotation center. Set the device offsets of the devices added to the excavator. Also the boom pin offset is set here. Press the add button to add offsets. In the equipment page are the devices added used on the excavator. In this example, a positioning system, a heading source, a vertical reference unit, a state device, the dredge positioning system device, optionally, a pontoon protection device. With the pontoon protection device added, the operator has an indication in the profile view of the acquisition. The operator can now see the excavator tool with respect to the pontoon to avoid hitting it. In the shape layer of the view is the pontoon protection computation selected. The same as for all vessel configurations, it is important to set the device properties correctly. For this example this means at least for the positioning device the device offset. For the reference point computation. The height source. Set to GPS height, if GPS RTK is used, for the compass. The heading correction. For the vertical reference unit, the device offset. The roll correction. The pitch correction. For the dredge positioning system. The device offset. The device offset for the dredge positioning system is the boom pin. If the pontoon protection is used, for the pontoon protection properties, set the vessel identifier to the pontoon vessel identifier. The identifier is listed in the configuration. If you open the configuration, then the corresponding vessel ID is listed. In this example, to for the pontoon. In the pontoon protection computation properties is the pontoon bottom height set and the pontoon contour selected. The height of the pontoon bottom Z is the height between the bottom of the pontoon and the boom pin. This is always a negative value. What now if the crane is not equipped with a heading device, but the heading device is installed on the pontoon? In the case, we can add a remote heading device to the equipment list of the excavator in its vessel configuration. Select the remote heading device group. Select remote. Press the add button. The remote heading device is added. Open its properties. 
Select the vessel identifier of the pontoon, the same as we did for the pontoon protection device. The same procedure applies if the VRU or the positioning system is installed on the pontoon only. In that cases, add the VRU in remote positioning device to the equipment list of the excavator to retrieve the data from the pontoon, as we just also showed for the heading device. In general are the sensors mounted on the crane, and are the remote devices not used. We see in this vessel configuration something specials, the subsystem. The subsystem can be used if the platform is not solid linked to the vessel. In this example the undercarriage of the excavator with reference to the crane frame. If we like to see the rotation of the frame with respect to the undercarriage then we are adding a subsystem. Press this button to add a subsystem. The bearing sensor measuring the rotation of the frame is added to the subsystem. In the properties of the bearing sensor it is possible to calibrate the rotation position. Open the properties of the subsystem position. The subsystem position is automatically added when a subsystem is created. Here the shape of the subsystem, in our case the undercarriage, can be selected. A standard undercarriage shape is available. Set the standard shape dimensions. Open the properties of the subsystem reference position computation. The main system reference point is used. If sensors are added then their offsets must enter manually, and are relative to the subsystem reference point. In the vessel configuration we also see the tools page. From the tools page is the crane configured. So in the geometry page, only the crane frame is configured. But in the tools page the other parts, such as the boom, stick, etc. If we open the tools page, and the crane configuration page. Then we configure here the boom parameters, such as the offset and the shape. Multiple booms may be configured. The same for the stick configuration. And the tool configuration. Dredge logging settings are set in the dredge logging settings page. In this project is the crane installed on a pontoon. The pontoon is a separate vessel configuration. We see for the pontoon the vessel configuration added to the configuration. Open the vessel configuration of the pontoon. In the geometry page is the shape selected, in this case from the pontoon. Standard shapes are available. We select the standard pontoon shape, and set the dimensions. If the pontoon is equipped with sensors, then the device offsets are added here. Press the Add button to add an offset. Open the Equipment page. In the Equipment page are the devices used for the pontoon positioning added. Let's take a look at the equipment in this example. A bearing sensor is added. This is because this pontoon is not equipped with a heading device. The heading is retrieved remotely from the crane. The bearing sensor is used to measure the relationship between the crane heading and the pontoon. Open the bearing device properties to calibrate the bearing of the pontoon. Enter the set point and select the checkbox, adjust bearing to set point. The bearing is calibrated. A remote heading device to retrieve the heading from the crane is also added to the equipment list to measure the heading of the pontoon, in combination with the just described bearing sensor. Open the properties of the remote heading and set the vessel identifier to the identifier of the crane. In this case the crane identifier is 1. The vessel identifier is listed in the configuration. We see identifier 1 for the crane. A remote VRU to retrieve the VRU from the crane is also added, since the pontoon is not equipped with a VRU. Open the properties and set the vessel identifier also to the crane identifier. And at last a remote crane reference positioning device, to retrieve the positioning from the crane, because the pontoon is not equipped with a positioning device as well. 
open the properties and set also the vessel identifier to the crane. So in this example was the pontoon not equipped with any sensors, except a bearing sensor. All data was retrieved from the crane by the remote devices. The remote devices are added from the corresponding group. Of course it is also possible the pontoon is equipped with sensors. This means for this case, instead of a remote device, a device from the applicable group is selected. For example if the pontoon is equipped with a compass, we select from the group compass, the applicable device driver. The I.O. port is now also set. And of course the properties. With more vessels defined in our vessel configuration, we are able to show in real time acquisition. A crane. On a pontoon. Visualized by the layers of the view. The pontoon in the vessel layer, and the crane in the dredge construction layer. A excavator on a pontoon with positioning, by our advanced vessel configuration.